Nice. Uh, damn. Anyway, uh, welcome to this new episode. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day, as always. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, do I have to hold LT the entire time? Are you kidding me? Right. I, I was dreading this um, one so much. I thought, like, this is going to be like, the worst episode ever, but we'll, we'll see how it goes, you know, we'll see. Just need to remember that we're holding precious, fragile cargo. And no doubt I'll have to drop this thing and throw things at the BTs and shit. I couldn't drive the car even, I can't even do that. So I'm like, well... I just try and make my way there and see how it goes. I really hope that I don't have to offload a load of things as well afterwards, I don't know. If that case does, like, happen, I might as well, um, build a post box. I don't know, like, if I'm showing this hourglass to the person and he says bring her back, doesn't that mean I have to deliver her over here? Because, no doubt, yeah, there are BTs, right? Yes. I knew, knew this would happen. Uh, right. Could use the speed XO, but... No gonna destroy my carry weight so the BT is on my left that's cool I'm gonna just go this way then every time like the thing moves another BT sees me and it's like uh, the music's changed right oh I don't want to make noise Fine, I think. I don't even know if we're going the right way. The marker's like gone somewhere. Please, not uh, no more ahead of me. I've had enough. I've had enough. I don't want any more. Almost. I, I, it's not my trike, so like I don't care. Thanks for the person who gave it to me, though, like... So I can... Yeah... So do I have less balance because I'm like this? Those... Those cliffs are, like, really, like, cool. But at the same time, they're probably really dodgy. Right, cool. Hopefully we're home free. I might get that up, up, along the way back. Hopefully I don't have to hold a fucking fragile hourglass. So yeah, I, I was actually dreading that we're gonna face BTs along the way. Maybe we're gonna see some mules, but I'm like... I can't use my weapons. I have to drop this thing and then use it. So it means me being stationary. And I like being... I like moving around a lot more. Oh, can I pick it up? Oh, I can pick it up fast older than that. Maybe I can go back. Yeah, I'll go back later. It's quite far away. It's the sandstorms in this. Maybe we need to drink. Uh, we pressed the wrong button straight away. No? Apparently we don't need to drink. Okay. And I'm using the left trigger to grip. I should maybe not go on this right. Yeah, cause it's yellow. I should just go around tribal. Why are you doing it in this stupid manner? Is that the lake? Wow. I don't even see this body of water. But yeah, I, I should be really assessing the terrain, see where I need to run to, because I can't really... I know it's touching the ground, the box, but... 
I'm technically holding it still, so it's not touching the ground. I'm liking this game the more I play it as well. I don't know if I've said that in a, uh, a different episode. And yeah, again, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Cairo Artist Studio. Saying fragile, yes. This, this thing is very fragile. I know it's the company's name, but again, I am carrying a very fragile thing. I like how he says things from time to time. Activate terminal. Make delivery. Let's do it. There you go, Missy. If you are actually there. Delivering Got my good old shades on as well. Sick. Uh, are you with Fragile Express? No. You're a Bridges Porter, aren't you? I'm not expecting a package. Oh, it's nothing dangerous, is it? Oh my lord. I never thought I'd see this again. Let me have a closer look. She the oh, doors of them. Jesus. Incredible. Not so much as a single scratch. I can't thank you enough. So some not even tell her that your daddy wants to see you. Yeah, yes. Nice. Nice. So, I'm on the one and only chiral network now. That's wonderful. I'm happy to be a part of the UCA. <laughs> Have your damn USBs, lady. Let's hook you up. I also had a... When I was editing one of these episodes, the way it ch it shows five that just peak upwards reminds me of the first initial cutscene where you get the five, like, BTs that are in the sky. Isn't that, like, a link to it? Oh, mate, when we link all of these up. Jesus. Oh. Hand... <gasps> Handgun. Mate, I just had goosebumps when it said handgun. I was like, oh my god, I can actually shoot a BT. Cool. You'll drop by again, won't you? Yeah. Oh. Take me with you. Please. I have to see him again. I made this for him, you know. When the terrorist attacked, my mother and I barely escaped with our life. I tried to find him afterwards. I did. I just didn't know where to look. But that's not why I stopped. My mother never liked him. She made that pretty clear. But I didn't think she'd go as far as to lie. So when she said, he died. I believed her. And you heard that message. It's him. It's really him. I should never have given up. Deep down, I knew he was out there somewhere. But I couldn't leave my mother all around. So I tried to make my peace with it. <sighs> oh 
Sorry, I couldn't. Not even if I do wanted to. I was stuck in the past. Unable to move on. Take me to him. I'm begging you. I'm ready to go. Right now, if we want, just say you take me. So, do you know I said we're gonna do a return journey probably for something? <laughs> well, person, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I kind of said that anyway, but it's probably an order. Uh, do I want to put shit away first? Hold on, let me see. Human delivery. Is there a post box nearby that I can use? Reach. Holy shite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just put my shit back, man. Network's growing leaps and bounds thanks to you. There's just one more thing you gotta do. Destroyed. Oh shit. You have to find a way to win over that junk dealer. Yeah, Some I know. Yeah, you might help dude. Your I just wanna put my shit in the post box. So I can come back and get it afterwards. It's my private lock. I know that someone put a uh, thing there, but I really just want to use this. Private locker. Alright, cool. And now that's done. Go on to cargo. Monk that. Okay. It's on my tool rack now. I know I'm very bare on shit. But I can come back and get everything. Yes, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm preparing because I don't know if I can take everything. Because everything will be on the ground if I can't take everything. That there is a handgun configured to fire hermetic rounds. Bullets loaded with your own blood. Should do some damage to any BTs you come across. The gun draws blood from your body, or any bags on hand, to fill its cartridges when in use. Length of the trigger pull determines the amount loaded into the next round. Longer pulls mean more blood and more potential damage to the BT on the receiving end. Just don't drain yourself dry by accident, okay? Okay, I'm very, uh, I like to, I'll buy one of the, I'll make one of these. I like guns, mate. I like guns in games, it's good. As you know, you'll be transporting a living human being for a change. It goes without saying that any falls or heavy impacts sustained may result in injury to your client. So proceed with caution, now more than ever. Mate, you gave me a gun, mate. I'm gonna see how much more I can take with the person. I don't want to overload myself, though. It's like... Are you staring? Like... I hold the hourglass. I don't want it to break. Wait. Is she going to hold her breath when we're near the BT's area? Uh... You okay? Let me just, uh... Check. Can put any more that I need. So... 
Yeah. Can have a little bit, but not a lot. My star looks really weird as well. There we go. Charge me boots or whatever. Uh, like you, sir. I like your 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 character as well. It's very nice. There you go, sir. Let's make a marker so we don't get lost again. What do you mean we're just? Look for the door. <laughs> Wait, that was up in a spread. That's how you can go. What? You up, it's oh, oh, she well, means so the fucking the folks, like. The to dispose of terrarium contaminated waste and bodies too. If you don't have time to burn them, there's always the tar. Sounds just gonna. So I can't swim in that because it's a watery tar. Does she not like the? Do not I have? Wait, where's my Kyrelium deposit? Oh, it's right there on the left. I see that. Is that a? Po what is that? Is that a post box as well? Oh, more music, guys! Hope you like this music. Is a post box. Nah, mate, you're all right, mate. Ooh. That delivery bot has taken a long ass time to get to its destination, man. <laughs> Holy shit. I know I'll be making the journey back to get all my shit, so... We're still on Mars. These bridges look amazing, though. There is music on that bridge. Still, again, don't know if it's uh, this copywritten music, but... Who knows? Surely if we're at this angle that she'd hit get hit by the time fall as well. Wow. Wait, is that the junk dealer that I need to go to? Oh, it is. It's like a bridge in a safe house over there. I like the render distance, it's sick. I don't even know if I'm meant to go this way or not. This is the way I came from, so... <laughs> the, the, the lady's face. <laughs> Um, gone. So I need to know how to use these weapons if I need to. Well, so far so good. Show yourself! It sounds like an actual gun, this thing as well. Oh no, my nade. Maybe I use my nades. Which one is ruined? I can't tell. Come on, man. Oh. I got it. Uh. So, does it kill it or like what? What? I don't understand it. I thought I killed them, like. Maybe it just stuns them or something? I have fucking no idea. Kinda want this. <laughs> that, that thing flashing in her eyes, like. Is it close to me? Oh, it is. Dead. Dead on me. Dead on. Wait. I don't know if she holds her breath though, like... So I am being, uh, more aggressive with the stoof. I reckon we could just run this, man. The price, the price is real! Holy shit. Oh, my bike's still there. Uh... Oh my god, my footprints. I've been here before. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We are a-okay. 
I was thinking about recording this one. I was like, oh my god, I'm on this bit. I have to go up on that mountain with no weapons and no... Here I am. Soldiering on. Make a delivery. Here, have have your daughter. Oh, yeah, she came out. Are you hurt? Thanks, Bridges. I can't believe you're alive. That's my line, silly. I thought you were dead. My mom told me you were. I kept it close, always. But after the attack, it stopped working. I thought about fixing it, getting the sand flowing again. But it felt too much like moving on, like forgetting you. Well, now I can both move on, together, you and me, if you're ready. Of course. <laughs> the man I knew. They took Pedro John. He fixed the thing, made him like new again. Picking up the pieces and making the most of them. That's what I do best too. But this is one piece we don't need. <laughs> what the fuck? The only time that matters is the time I spend with you. So let's count some moments ourselves together. I'm asking you to marry me, dummy. Oh, they're not. I will. I do. Wait, yes. whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't that the daughter? What? Don't hate mom, please. Tell her this is what we want. Help her to understand and accept it. Because she needs us and I need her. All right. I'm pretty good at patching things up. <laughs> what the fuck? Are they not related though? Like, what the shit? And then I spent all that time getting up there with that fucking hourglass and they should fucking brewing. Oh, shit and bloody fucking ass and bloody beat. Oh, it's the bot. It's like, you give me a fucking B for that. Sorry, I was such an asshole. I treated you and Fragile like shit. I'm gonna try and make a fresh start with my girl. And though I can't do half of what you people do out there every day, I'm ready to pull my weight. If you need anything fixed, I'm your man. The UCA can count on me. Awesome. It'll take some getting used to, but it's past time. We will join the UCA's network. I won't let you down. I swear. May I never forget you. Thank you. Oh. Nice. 
Uh, yeah, you have the... So the perks for him fixing shit, yeah, great. Whatever's going on between them two and their family and shit, they, they can have that. They can have that. I, I don't care about that no more. They... If I had any sort of friendship, it is destroyed with that hourglass that she fucking threw onto the ground with no care at all. Like, what an asshole, like, what the fuck? Cool. Stun bomb. Nice. Cool. I'm just... Sam, that oh, whole Jesus region Christ. is connected to the Cairo network now. Head for the next area. To connect South Knot City, you'll need to make a delivery from Lake Knot City. Huh? Not sure I follow. Why not just get them on the network? Let them print what they need. Because you can't print everything. You do know that, right? Food, medicine, organic compounds, that blood of yours that's proven so effective against BTs. None of that can be sent by the network, only the old fashioned way. The people of South Knot have been struggling ever since the last attack. Now, if they're to survive, they'll need all the supplies Lake Knot can spare. Head back there and pick up the order. By the Holy way, shit. Sometimes you might find yourself traveling home empty-handed, right? Wasted trip, I say. Make the most out of it by making sure you've always got an order on your back. For instance, one just came in from the junk dealer. A joint request from him and the Cairo artist, looks like. I think it'd be in everyone's best interest if you took it on. Check the terminal for details. Heads up, Sam. I'm detecting abnormal Cairo levels to the north of South Knot City. The numbers indicate heavy time fall in the area. It appears to be some kind of storm, but nothing like anything I've ever seen before. Though, truth be told, I can't actually see it either. The storm should be right outside my lab, but with the baby, I'm in no position to investigate. It doesn't seem to have done any real damage yet, but would you mind looking into it for me? Just be sure to keep your distance, all right? I'm full storm. Uh, I kind of want to get my stuff. I'm gonna go get my stuff. I don't know if I can take this. I try and get on this. Not hitting the wrong button. I shall come back here, sir. Oh, there is a generator. Got back on my bar. I'll probably see you when I get my stuff, maybe, or if anything else happens, and I'll let you know. Jesus! No! I want to remove all the markets. God damn it! Yes, I know. I just wanted to. Fuck! I know it's that way though at least, so we'll go that way. Is it raining or is it BT air really? Holy shit. Wait. Who are these? Are they just paws? Underwear. <laughs> the both. Wait, they actually. Oh, okay. That's cool. Phelps giving underwear to the artist studio. I reckon you could be bad there and actually, like, kill them and take it. Is that a BT? What the hell is that? Oh, bloody heck. So there's no BTs now that I've done that as well. 
Come on, game. Okay. We're back. Cool. We've got all our stuff back, and now we go back. It's always raining over this part. There's BTs there. The BTs here? Yes, there is. So we drive around. Yep, yep. Can I skip this? No. Who counts? A bar? So you're telling me I could've just drove around the entire time? Unless they're actually here now as well, I don't know. I do not know. I wonder if the guy can fix my bike. How did I get here? I might be here, yeah. Generator! Ah. Sorry, boxes. I kind of needed to get, get around anyway. I kind of like it. There you go, buddy. Should have liked you the last time I was here, but... You know. Let's do the top one every time. Go! Go, go! Always believe in the truth. Can you... Fabricate. Uh. You can use those little darlings to stun your enemies and give yourself some breathing room. Just equip and toss. They'll trigger on contact. They deliver a shock that should incapacitate every living thing within the blast radius. Living only, though. They won't do you any good against BTs. Nice. Let's recycle. Take on orders. Cool. Yes. Uh. We're fine. Cool. Yes. We need to put some stuff in our private locker when we get to one of the facilities. So we're quite stacked. I don't know how to repair things, so from the sky. Gotta go that way. Bye now. You do you, or whatever you're doing. No, I can't pick up and get Kyrillian crystals, so. Any crystals that I do see will be missed, I'm sorry. I know I missed a lot, so. Rich. It's also mule territory. Was that blocked? Did I just did I block it? Oh, he's seen me anyway. For sake. The man seen me. I forget there's a fucking huge ass ridge here, so I'm like. I'm not going this way, like, uh, uh, the bike could just go through the ladders. I don't have a stun bomb, so why are you giving me a tutorial on how to use them? Hopefully this isn't a river. Yeah, I can, I can go up here, right? Ah! Hopefully the mule guys aren't, like, coming this way. I should have maybe gone right. I don't know. I feel like I've been here before. And I don't know if I'm a good driver or not on this game. I question myself a lot. 
I really wish there was a paver near me, but, you know, it's a bridge right there and I don't know how you get to it, but I feel like I've gone around it, so, yeah, no, another bridge, I feel like that's the bridge I used last time on this here as well, well, that's the place that I need to be, that's, I hope that I don't have to cross anything to get there. Oh, please tell me there's a... Yes, there is. There's a breach in the, the gap is what I was going to say, but I don't know if that makes sense or not. Oh, wow, Paver really needed you. Alright, guys, I'm going to deliver right here. Oh, my sign. I might need to put the bike a little bit further, but there we go. Nice and parked. There we go. Uh, there. Oh, there you go, buddy. Oh, I should have put stuff in my locker. Fuck. Why didn't I just learn what I've... I think it's episode 9 where I wanted to recycle. Come a long way, huh? Yes. Hope your cargo held up as well as you. Looking oh, it's... good. Looking good. Yes, you were the right Thank man you. for the job. Yes, yes. Bye bye now. And then they'll be like, Sam, you need to rest now. I'm like, fuck. No. I don't need to rest. Oh. I can customize my butt pack. <gasps> I can make it red, uh, like the good old Outbreak Bandits. Then let's do so, it. Here's stuff you brought: motor and a pouch. They're not like our usual supplies. New designs, like you heard. I think a joke dealer made this. I heard he was a pro, but even so, it's. Impressive work. I'll notify HQ and try to expedite evaluations. Thank you. I think. Did I, was I just waiting just the entire time? Results from the people at the distro center for those prototypes you dropped off? Looks like both caught their eye. The motor, for one, was impressive. They really couldn't believe it was made from scrap. It can be fitted to a modified truck and be ready to go in no time. <laughs> they contracted the junk dealer straight away and got it added to the list of supplies that can be fabricated. They had good things to say about the pouch, too. Contract has already been made, and you'll find the pouch in your private room. If you want to customize your backpack, you'll need to drop by one anyway. Anyway, I hope you appreciate what those two did for you, and give this new gear a try. Holy shit. Let me, um, put some stuff in my private... Private rocker. Oh, mate, imagine how much shit I can fucking put on the truck. Like, I see every crate and I just put it on the truck every time. Do I just go to bed with my shades on? Like... Yeah, I'm a cool dude. Nice. Sam, don't know if you're aware, but you can customize your pack in your private room. Why not give it a try? <laughs> you told me on the fucking... Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's do it. Fabricate attachments. <gasps> oh, what? Oh, oh. Oh, boy. Um. I'm going nuts with this, mate. Oh. Holy. I'm sure I'll get more stuff. But I'm gonna make it all like this. Or does that fuck with the fucking, um the movement or whatever. Accessories. Oh, windmill. Oh, 
Oh, we can change the color. What the hold? Oh. Oh, purple looks sick. Red, though. Orange. Black. Hmm. White. Might do red. There we go. Or Yes. God damn. And that is where we're going to leave this episode off. I don't know if this is a shorter episode than usual, but I hope you did enjoy. Leave a like if you did. Comment down below any lovely little comments you have in mind. And subscribe if you're new here. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.